Well, the city of Sweetwater experiencing some big changes. Five new development projects in the works to help what officials say increase the quality of life. KRBC's Jessica Rank has more on the projects and how they'll give a boost to the Sweetwater economy. I think we only had 10 building permits pulled in 10 years prior to this. Richard Ferguson has spent most of his life in Sweetwater, but this is the first time he's seen anything like this. So the past even year we've seen a dog park be built. Um, we have a developer in who is building a few houses. Those just two of the five projects in the works, some calling it a surge when compared to the city's history. Well, Sweetwater has been a community uh, in the past that didn't have a lot of ups and didn't have a lot of downs. The EDC now giving the community some of those ups, voting on a plan that would allow for more quality of life projects. And I think the shopping opportunity, the housing opportunity and, and the upgrade of our parks will be a really great thing for us going today and in the future. Hoping to bring and to keep more people in the city. Times change. I come from the baby boom generation and honestly you would take a job wherever it was and you didn't worry about where you were going to live. Well now when they look at jobs they also look at the environment around it and sometimes will choose not to take a job because it's not a lifestyle that they would like to live in that community. So we're trying to improve that to make this a better opportunity. To see things popping up that are more conducive to having young families here and to have people who want to be here versus living somewhere like Abilene um, I think is, is a big Big deal. And it's just at its beginning. In Sweetwater, Jessica Rink, KRBC, Abilene's local news. All right, thank you, Jessica. Now, those five projects include a new Sutherland lumber yard, a dog park, a cooler company, a housing development, and a rail project. All five expected to be completed in the next eight months.